Uh, yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Neat. And uh, I just woke up and decided to switch it up by shooting a morning video. Um, anyways, um, I think I'm going to be talking about, uh, I guess, this, several reasons why I want to move out of my parents' place. So you might be wondering, why would I ever want to do that when I'm in need and, you know, my room is pretty nice. If I were to move out, then I'd probably be staying in a place that's not as comfy because it wouldn't be as new, it wouldn't be as clean. Um, and I'd have to be worrying about things like rent and um, all that crap, you know. But uh, there are several, several good reasons why I'd actually want to move out and uh, the first of them being that, well, um, I just feel like I'll never have that full sense of privacy if I'm living with my parents because, well, I did kind of talk about it in a previous video about, you know, my mom uh, basically, you know, secretly spying on me, but, you know, I feel like even without that, I just feel like there's certain things that I can't really do or, you know, do at peace while I'm around my parents. Like, okay, this is probably all my fault, but I just feel like it's, uh, I feel weird because, um, I feel weird, like doing things like watching anime or, um, just being myself basically listening to the music I like because I just feel like a shame and I feel like I can't show that side of myself to my parents. And uh, I, maybe this isn't the best reason because it's probably coming from me, but I feel like, um, or, you know, even things that I just, you know, require privacy for that I just can't do in my parents' place. And I'm always wondering, like, for example, shooting videos or uh, doing <coughs> other things that uh, require privacy. Uh, and yeah, so it's like, that's one reason I don't have privacy. And uh, another reason is that, well, um, I really just feel like I don't have a lot of control over my environment because at the end of the day, you know, if this were my own place and um, I could just do whatever I wanted in it, then yeah, like there's certain things, certain habits that it's really, like I pretty much only have control over my own room basically. Uh, I mean, uh, like I can pretty much rearrange whatever I want and, you know, if it's getting too messy, I can clean it up and declutter it. Um, but when it comes to my parents' place, uh, I don't have anything in control, especially upstairs. And upstairs, you know, my parents are Asian parents. And, you know, um, just naturally, they tend to be really disorganized and really uh and they are they're also i'm not going to say straight up orders but you know my dad is a typical asian dad he likes to keep every single plastic container that has ever been created like for example when we buy like takeout because i guess he grew up fairly poor so he always has that scarcity mentality but the thing is we have like multiple containers like that are like not cheap plastic they're actually like glass but he still feel the, feels the need to keep the plastic and it just piles up and then we keep every flyer every brochure and then everything's just scattered all over the place and you know this might sound really petty but i really do believe that your outside world is a reflection of your internal state or your environment and that when you're living among clutter, it kind of reflects 
sort of like messed up internal whatever like disorganized thoughts and i feel that um conversely if you are in a very cluttered environment it can actually you know disorganize your thoughts or at least it does for me where um it just makes it really hard for me to think it's it's almost stressful for me to be around so much clutter and not only that but when it comes to things like my diet for example uh it's hard to control that around my parents because firstly um i can't do things like meal prep because obviously ideally i would want to meal prep all my meals but at the end of the day it's my parents fridge and you know not only would they not i guess stand for it but it's like yeah like it makes sense like i'm not going to like i'm not going to make my parents not use the fridge because um uh, well you know i'm piling up piling like friggin like 10 different tupperware things full of prepared meals and the ingredients and all my things like most of what's in the fridge is my parents stuff but that brings me to the second point not only is it their stuff but it's either stuff that i don't eat or it's stuff that is really unhealthy and tempting I like to just have junk food all over the place and lying around and it definitely serves as a huge temptation for me like i'm i don't eat junk food regularly but sometimes when i'm just in a bad mood or if i just like i'm craving something it's especially like soft drinks that i fuck up in where i well you know be pretty good on my diet but then i'll just have that craving for like coca cola or sometimes i'll if the meal is not very good i'll be i'll just eat like a handful of lays chips but you know like over time it adds up and my point is that if i were in my own place i would just throw all that crap out and i wouldn't have to have to deal with that temptation because what's the best way to deal with temptations you remove them from your environment so they're not there to tempt you anymore and it and it actually even frees up uh a lot of you know a lot of willpower because you you have uh your brain uh, doesn't have to devote as much time um you know as much time sort of preventing yourself from indulging that temptation so that's another thing that i have to deal with and at the same time it's like even my meals like i kind of feel obligated to eat what my parents cook because okay this is first world problems crap i apologize like obviously it, it is a blessing in disguise but you know and i really am thankful that they actually still do cook for me but at the same time it's like i would I'd almost prefer if they didn't do that and if they just let me uh cook because if I cook and they cook like they I like thing is like I've asked them not to cook for me but then they say yeah sure we can do that but then they end up still cooking for me anyways I've asked them several times this sounds this is going to sound so like like bratty and stupid that I'm actually complaining about this but it's like like uh yeah like they just it's kind of like it's a dumb thing to complain about but i guess it is there like i guess this wouldn't be a problem if i actually moved out but i guess being asian parents you know i guess they feel like i can't or hell conference they feel like they can't fend for myself and that they have to cook for me but the things that they cook are extremely unhealthy and i feel a lot of times obligated to eat it because well if they don't cook then that's just like if they cook a huge amount and they often overcook too much then it's like i feel like it's kind of like my obligation to eat that food because if it's not eaten then it's just going to be thrown out like pretty much everything that they cook too much of and it's also like it's one way i can minimize my footprint is eating food that they would have thrown out anyways so basically eating leftovers but the thing is oftentimes i can make leftovers taste good but it's 
really unhealthy and it messes up my diet having to eat that stuff. It's just a stupid complaint, I know, but that's just how I feel. I feel like me moving out would not only save them money, I actually maybe not because they'll overcook anyways. At least my, uh, yeah, whatever, I'll just say both of them do. And uh, yeah, so that's my diet being messed up, you know, having control over my environment, um, you know, even just the furniture that they've chosen bothers me. I'd just rather have control over what's around me uh, completely, you know. Um, another thing is that, uh, you know, I'll just say it like my mom, uh, I have problems like both of them physically. So like I was saying before, my dad is the type of person who is, uh, I think he tends to try and, uh, look out for me too much. Like he doesn't helicopter parent me. Well, I guess he kind of does. It's kind of like a remnant of that. Like they don't really helicopter me, parent me anymore, but it's like my dad thinks that, well, they both think that I'm not capable of fending for myself. So they'll do things that I tell them not to do to let me do for myself because uh, I, I guess they think I can't do, do it. And uh, I guess that's a minor complaint. Overall, me and my dad are pretty good terms, but it's like with my mom, I don't really have, it's better now, but I don't, still don't have the best relationship with her. And we do fight sometimes, but it's more that I just, okay, this is going to sound really bad. Okay. But I just don't want to be around that like boomer energy. I just feel like as someone my age, I feel like it's better to be around the people your age and hanging out with them. And when, uh, you know, you're around people, for example, my dad is incredibly submissive and doesn't take initiative and, uh, all that. And is very, uh, I guess set in his ways. And then, you know, that kind of rubs off on me. And then my mom is just this typhoon of emotions and for example, I just woke up this morning and I just heard her, you know, yelling and, you know, it's not at me. Right. But when you're around people who are always angry and pissed off, it just, it's not nice to be around because it's like, it just lowers your mood. It increases your stress. Like just the sound of somebody screaming um, and yelling, like just raises your stress. It's not something that you want to wake up to in the morning. And keep in mind that they're not like in the same room as me or even like the same floor. They're like, they're upstairs. And the problem with my mom is that she's always fighting with somebody. And it's like, there's never a moment of peace well, there are, but it's like very short lived. And she's always fighting with her sister, who's my aunt, or, you know, with my dad's sister, which is what's happening now, or with people at her, people that her friends or at, you know, their, I guess their, their quote unquote work, which is more like, uh, I'm not going to get into that, but, um, yeah, their work, I guess. And, um, yeah, okay. I'll just say it like they're both in, both in some multi-level marketing thing. See, that's the thing. And just having to, yeah, I'll talk about that in a bit, but yeah, just there's that. And then it's just so stressful. And I just, sometimes I'd just rather be on my own completely. And the thing is with the COVID stuff is like, at least before COVID, they would leave the house and have some privacy, but now that they're in the house 24 seven and it looks like they're, they're going to be like this for the foreseeable future. It's just, I don't have that. Pro I'll never be alone. And I have to deal with like 
the constant, you know, like negativity. And my mom is just a naturally negative person. And if she's not fighting with somebody, she's constantly like, you know, berating my dad and shouting at him and telling him that, um, uh, telling him that he's, you know, incompetent and always shaming him and shit. And it's like, like, it obviously bothers me because my dad is a really great person. Obviously his flaw is that he hasn't taken, you know, control over his marriage. And I don't like hearing that shit because he's, I think my dad, my dad is honestly one of the very few people in this world that, that I can actually say is a genuinely nice person. Uh, you know, maybe to a fault even where he's just too nice. But he's not like fake nice, like nice guy nice. Like he's an actually nice person who actually cares about people and tries his best. But to hear my mom berate him like that, just it's so bad and it stresses me out. She's constantly shaming, constantly berating him. And um, yeah, just being around that energy not only that, but I just feel like being around old people in general, not only is it kind of shameful, but it just feels like I just don't jive with them. If that's, that's a boomer term. Like that's a fucking problem with living with boomers is you, you pick up their mannerisms and, uh, it just doesn't feel good being around older people. And I kind of want to be around like people who I, you know, mesh with even on like an aesthetic level and in terms of like the energy and the vibe. And I want to be around people who lift me up, but in some weird way, I feel like my parents only drain me emotionally, especially uh, my mom. And uh, she is quite abrasive. So that also stresses me out and or she's often very sarcastic and mocking the way she talks. And that often bothers me a lot. And then also there's all the, de the denial of it, the gaslighting and shit. Like, okay, like I get it. Um, but that she had a bad childhood, but I mean, at the end of the day, I can't really change her. You know, I've tried talking to her. She has improved somewhat, but she's never going to be perfect at the end of the day. The only thing I can really do is, you know, move out and become independent to be free of that, to, to have to live my own space. And speaking of my own space, like there's, like I said, there's things I can't do, but the biggest thing is like, I can't do things like use Tinder or, you know, go out and I guess at least try and socialize and talk to, I guess, you know, women or girls, uh, because, uh, well, I don't know. It's so weird if I say girls at this age. So I guess I'm still stuck in life as like a fucking teenager, not teenager. Um, I'm still like, I'm 24. Do I still call them girls or do I call them women? I guess I call them women. But it's kind of like a weird mental shift to make because I'm still like really juvenile. But, you know, I guess... I would be talking to anybody above 20. So I guess women would make more sense now at this point. It feels weird though. Like I feel like a boomer. I'll just say girls. Um, but anyway, that's a stupid side of me. Like I can't talk to girls, uh, my age or, uh, yeah. And I can't do that. I can't go party because I feel ashamed of, drinking alcohol around my conservative Christian parents. And, uh, like, okay, I do kind of drink alone, but I have to kind of like do it low key, you know? And, uh, just, I don't know. They always ask me and then I can sense a disapproval and, um, what else I can't, you know, yeah, I just can't do so many things. Can't talk to girls. And what's the point of talking to a girl when, you know, I tell that you're living with your parents. That's super, super shameful. And also that 
Um, well, it's also that you can't even bring them home because like, it's going to be super awkward with my dad and, you know, my mom is not going to stand for it. I feel like she's going to give me shit about it. And so, yeah, so that's just another huge reason, honestly. And, um, I, at my age, it's just like, I feel like I can't even make any friends because it's, I feel like, I feel like it just adds to that sense of shame that I have that I'm a man child basically living with my parents. And I feel like if I were to move out, then I would also get rid of that stigma. And, you know, obviously it's all in my head, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, it is kind of true. Like, I feel like it is one of those social pressures that is actually positive in a way because, yeah, you do genuinely feel like a man child or like, like you feel like a little kid and I don't like that feeling. Like I want to move out and live on my own. And I would be sacrificing a lot of things. Like for example, I'd actually have to go maybe wage cut, but I feel like I could make, make it in a way where with the extra income that I have for my aunt that, you know, maybe I could at least work part time and still be able to do it, especially if I, find a place that's really cheap but I don't know I then I definitely have a lot more control over like what I eat and like my environment so I think that's pretty much all I have to say about it um uh probably rambling by now so anyways make sure to like the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed that video uh and this is comfy neat signing out